So Skill Drain just got reprinted in the newest side set, Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1, but this card is still about $25. In today's video, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper and try to figure out why this card, even after being reprinted in a widely available set, is still so expensive. So in today's video, we're not just going to be opening one, we're not going to be opening two, but we are going to be opening three of the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1, I mean box, I guess you could call them in the hopes of pulling a $30 skill drain. I still don't understand why that card is $30. It doesn't make sense. It got reprinted again. And I think Konami just fumbled with this one because they gave us the reprint purposely because they knew that card was unbanned and it was gonna get expensive again. And yet here it is still expensive. Now, there's nothing else I really want from the set, but I will say in three of these, I would like to pull two more Pile Arm Dragon. This is the only one that I have. I kind of want to get myself a playset, So I guess uh, we're just gonna get right into it here. I'm kind of excited. Hopefully we can get a skill drain. Now, before actually we get into this video, I do want to say big shout out to TCG Dave on Instagram. I'm going to link his Instagram at the top of the description below. He actually hooked us up with these three boxes. So this opening would not be happening without him. So make sure to go check him out on Instagram. Great guy. And yeah, so let's finally just get into it. One thing I'll say is I never was really a fan of any of the archetypes and any of the things that you guys can find in here. The, the, the whole hidden arsenal thing was not really great in my opinion. I think the artwork on this box is really nice, but just generally, I never really cared for the hidden arsenal stuff. You know, there was definitely good cards from hidden arsenal, but I mean like the past I would say but yeah I never really cared for the fable stuff I never really cared for the mist valley stuff I guess apex avion would be cool oh and I do know flame wingman comes in here in that dual terminal rarity which actually would be kind of nice so maybe we can pull that all right so this is our first box over here I really don't like how much cardboard they use but what is it two packs I think oh no there's, there's more cardboard oh my goodness yeah I think there's like two packs in here and then the promo card so hopefully the promo card, no, okay. So that's, it's not a pile arm dragon. So we'll put that over there to the side. We don't really care about this. Uh, this is a little guide. Is this the, oh no, okay. I know there's a winged Karibo one. That's the one I want. We got two packs, our first two packs over here. And again, the goal here is to just pull skill drain really. Again, $30 for a card that really should not have been short printed the way it is. Can you only get it as a dual terminal rarity in this set? I think, I think you can. I think that's the only rarity you can get it in. So yeah, this card's super expensive. I think Konami messed up with this reprint. And uh, yeah, I'm here to see if we can pull one in three boxes. So we got a Berserker Crush, a Dance. I don't know how deep the uh, dual terminal rarity is. There's a lot of cards in this pack, by the way. How many cards is it per pack? 18 cards per pack. That's kind of wild, actually. Okay, so I think here is our... No, not a dual terminal. Here? Nope, still not a dual terminal. Oh, are they at the back? Did they just put them at the back of the pack? All right. Oh, dual terminal cyber dragon. Nice. I keep calling it dual terminal. It's not dual terminal, but it's like dual terminal rarity. But yeah, this is actually kind of nice. So they're like in the middle of the pack, I would say. Okay. Do we get two per? Ooh, I like this. This one looks pretty good. Polymerization. Oh, we get a third one and a gnat beast. Ooh, is there more? Okay. So there's three. There's three per pack. And oh, wait. No, this one's also dual terminal, right? Am I wrong? Wait, is that like not weird? You can barely see it on this card. All right. Well, anyways, got a Miss Valley Executor. So you get, do you get three or four? I can't even tell because these ones you guys can obviously see the dual terminal. This one is a little bit, uh, I don't know, underwhelming. Okay. Well, nothing in here. Cyber Dragon, I guess, is kind of cool. Again, for the for this stuff, we want to pull the Skill Drain, but the Flame Wingman would be nice. The Neos would be nice. Uh, I think those are the two that I would want if it's not the Skill Drain. So uh, yeah, we got Materia, Ally. Ally of Justice Reserve. This is a good one, actually. Ally of Justice Cycle Reader is actually kind of nice. We got the Fabled, Naturia Landus, Landois, whatever. Uh, Karibo, Fabled, Soul Class. I'm actually, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just reading. Ally of Justice Medallion. Ooh, Barcha as a dual terminal right here. I don't know if you guys can see that dual terminal rarity properly. Yeah, I think you guys can see it right there. Okay, so that's really nice. MST, DT rarity. Skill Drain? Ooh, the Flame Wingman, nice. Okay, you know what, we'll take this. I actually wanted this one out of all the other ones. I wanted actually this one and the Neos as well. So that's really cool. And then a Rudra over here. Okay, so there's definitely a fourth uh, one. Ooh, Shining Flame Wingman is a common. Can you get this as a dual terminal rarity as well? Do all the cards come in dual terminal rarity? I don't know. This is kind of nice, uh, but the Flame Wingman is actually really nice here. We'll take a look at that in a second because I think that one's really, really cool. Baby Rock is kind of nice. Miltium, Part Partisan or Partisan. But yeah, here's the Flame Wingman. Oh, it's a little bit off center left to right. The reason I'm asking is because I might, I'm actually getting a PSA submission ready. By the way, I don't know why I was shaking there, but I was getting a PSA submission ready and I was thinking if we pulled one of these, I could send it in, but it's definitely really off left to right. So I don't know if this one's going to get sent in, but the card's beautiful nonetheless. All right, so that's two packs, no skill drain. Now, 
Fun fact, this actually comes from a case or a display box. I think it's a display box or a case, I don't remember. Uh, display box, I think, that TCG Dave had. And he gave us three of the boxes from that case. And he said that in his case, he had no skill drains. So does that mean there should be, I mean, there's no way in an entire case there's not a single skill drain. Because if there is, actually, that would explain the price point. That would actually explain the price point. Well, that would be sad to be honest, but we got two chances here actually at a pylon dragon. So one right here. Ooh, yes! Yes! Okay, this is not, this is a Trishula dice, but yes, we got the pile arm. So this is our second one, because he already gave us our first one earlier. So this is really nice. So now we got two of them. Okay, that's that's really good. I actually kind of like this opening. We got a pile armed and we got a flame wingman over here. That's cool. All right, so let's get into two more packs here. Man, I haven't done a pack opening in so long. And just, I don't know, I just haven't done these in so long. I really enjoy them though. Flame Guard, Landois. Now, I'm going to be honest with you just before we keep going here. I do like the original Dual Terminal Rarity more than I like this one. This one you can tell is like a hard, like knockoff, co not knockoff copy. I mean, this is real Konami. This is real Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't feel like the old school Dual Terminal, but it is kind of cool that they brought the Rarity back. So we got the Fabled, Medallion, Butterfly. Is it next? No, Dragonfly, is it next? Ooh, Barrel Dragon. Never was really a fan of this archetype. This is, um, what's his name again? Uh, the, 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 the American guy. I don't know. I forget his name, but I, I never really liked this archetype. Poly again, so we got another polymerization. Naturia Beast again, and a Fruit Fly. Okay, so that was definitely not a good pack. I mean, Poly is kind of nice, I would say. I think Poly is one of the better ones technically, but uh, yeah, nothing really in that one. Really weird choices actually, now that I think about it. Did these come in Dual Terminal originally? Did these already have Dual Terminal rarities? Is that why they reprinted these ones? Because I don't know specifically why they gave us a Barrel Dragon, unless that was already a Dual Terminal rare that they're bringing back, maybe. Maybe. So we got a Berserker Crush, Javelin, Pumpkin, please a Skill Drain. We need that $30 Skill Drain. Leo Drake, Topi. Nope. Ooh, Mistworm. Oh, I, I used to love this card. When I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, this card was super cool. So I really like Mistworm. Mistworm is really nice here. Barkeon, all the Nat Beast cards. So we got Barkeon and we got Beast actually, which is kind of nice. Cherries, oh my God, super off center. Oh, what is this quality control? And we got a Falcon over here. Okay, well, was is this known for having not good quality control? I think I saw that online, but I wasn't fully sure. I'm not 100% sure, but this is horrible centering. This would have been really cool if it was pushed even further and it was like two cards in one. Because then at least I can move it as a misprint. Okay, so we have our last chance here at a winged Karibo dice. I might be completely wrong. Maybe it's not a winged Karibo dice. But I, for some reason, I feel like we there, I saw a winged Karibo dice in here or in this set. So maybe there is a winged Karibo dice. But definitely Pile Arm Dragon. Pile Arm Dragon here would be amazing. Let's see if we can get this cardboard out. I really don't like this, by the way. I really don't like that they put this in. It makes it really hard to pull the stuff out. So, yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's really lucky. We opened three and we got two pile arm dragon. There's our place at a pile arm dragon. Yes, sir. Oh, beautiful card. Okay, I know I shouldn't be excited, but out of everything I want from this set, that's really the card that I wanted the most. I mean, outside of the skill drain, right? And then where's the dice? Oh, what is this one? Green. Oh, it's a Nat Beast or, or an Atreya Dice. Okay, well, no Wing Karibo Dice. Again, I might be wrong. Maybe there's no Karibo Dice. Maybe I'm just tripping. Okay, anyways, last two packs here. Let's get it, let's go. I'm super excited about this. We're gonna start off with Javelin. Dragoonie Javelin. Fabled Cruise. Thunderbird. Uh, Gadar Hulk. Nullifier. Shock Troops. We got a Fabled. We got a Medium. Can we get a skill drain? I think it's next. Can we get a skill drain? Three, two. Ooh, no, it's not a skill drain, but I like Lava Golem. That one's nice. You can't really see the DT on some of these cards as much as you can on others. Is that just me? Maybe just the angle I'm holding it in. Okay, Lava Golem. Skill drain, baby. Skill drain. Fabled Reagan. Okay. Ally of Justice, and we already saw this card. It's a. Oh, no, we did not. Oh no, it's just a pumpkin, okay. Well, okay, there was nothing in that pack. Let me see how many cards there are from the back. One, two, three, four, five. So here's our five cards. What I'm gonna do with the last pack is I'm gonna put the last five cards to the front. So this way you can, or we can get to the DT cards last. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, five, five to the front. Ooh, I did not know this was in here. This is actually a good reprint, Darkness Metal Dragon. This is nice, I like that. We got a Flameville Magician. That was actually probably one of our best pulls in this whole opening, actually, funny enough. Like, meta-wise and just how good this card is, that's this is actually one of probably the best pulls. We got a Flameville, the Fabled Catfish, a Garuda. We got, if cards just stop flying out of my hand, we got a, 
whatever that card is. We got a quarantine. This card was pretty good in its time as well. I remember this card was really, really good. In the side deck, especially, this card was really fun at the time. All right, the Shreya Guardian. Uh, Blizz, why is this card damaged? All right, well, Pineapple. Wab <laughs> why Wabuku? Why would you just randomly reprint Wabuku? We got a Goyo Guardian. We got an Interior Stink Bug. And I think we're coming. No, we're not coming up to it just yet. It might be coming up next. Oh, what is next? And it's a monster. It's an effect monster. So we know it's not Neos. We know it's not Skill Drain. Another Barrel Dragon. Okay. Okay. Again, this entire case. Or this, not this case, this entire display, because the display comes with 10 boxes, I think. So the entire display, not a single skill drain to this point. Because he opened up seven of them. He just gave me the three, because I think there's 10. But he just gave me the three. He said, not a single skill drain. Let's see if we can get one. Dragoonity Phalanx. Oh my god. Okay. The Tree of Beast again. Last chance. Cycle Reader. I mean, at least it's a Cycle Reader, which is a pretty good card. But I mean, I guess... Now it goes to show why Skill Drain is a $30 card and why Konami really, I think, messed up with this. Now, first of all, I actually, I'm looking at this. This is actually kind of really nice as a DT rarity. But anyways, I really think Konami messed up with this, if I'm being honest with you. Because really, I was thinking, and you guys heard me say this at the beginning of the video, like, why is this card still $30? Even though it just got a reprint. Even though this is a very accessible reprint too. Like, these packs, you can find everywhere. They haven't been selling out everywhere. They haven't been, like, off of the shelves. You can go to any local store and they'll have them. You can probably go to Walmarts and stuff and they'll have them too. The fact that there's so much product available and we, we saw here that I opened three boxes, but TCG Dave also opened the rest of the display and not a single skill drain. And one full display, we haven't gotten a single skill drain. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Konami reprinting cards poorly and just doing a really bad job with reprinting cards because I think this is really not a good way to move forward in Yu-Gi-Oh. They just gave us Skill Drain back to three in the last ban list. And I thought Konami was reprinting Skill Drain because they were like, hey, we should make an accessible copy. Because of course, when a card is banned or a card is at one, not a lot of people will just have it on hand. You know what I mean? Because most people won't be playing it. So when they announced the reprint, I thought it was cool. But uh, yeah, then again, this happens and then it kind of sucks, you know what I mean? But I will say I'm very happy that I got these pile arm dragons. I'm going to be building arm dragon just because I think this card is super, super cool and super, super fun. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Again, I really want to remind you guys to go check out TCG Dave on Instagram. None of this opening would be happening without him. So thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. And I appreciate every single one of you who watched. Now with that, Spankos, I don't know. Peace.